What's going on my broskies? My name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video. So I made a video a little bit earlier today, I'm sure many of you guys have seen it by now, about this right here. So we have information about the 7th anniversary, about the characters at least that are coming, and I talked about this extensively, there's an official website that's out right now, which is cool, so if you guys haven't seen that video, I highly advise you go ahead and do that to see all the information regarding all the login stuff, the version 11 update which details even more stuff, make sure you go check that out if you guys have not seen it yet. Yet. But in this video, we're going to be continuing more about the characters that are debuting for the 7th anniversary on Japan. Um, as noted before, the 12th of May is going to be the official release day of the Sugo Fest. However, obviously prior to that date, we should have a data download with all the unit information. But we have uh, some really, really awesome information. Shout out to, I want to make sure this is shout out correctly, uh, Vainama on the One Piece Treasure Crew subreddit Discord, who somehow located another file of this picture where the silhouettes have been removed and this is the exact characters that we will be able to see right here right now so you can see that it is going to be a luffy a law a kid um there's a killer there as well and also zoro so we were expecting this to happen, of course, but now we have got like official artworks as to what they actually look like, and there's two different variations of this one, of course. Um, so, I mean, it goes without saying that Luffy, Law, and Kid are going to be the three headlining units. I know a lot of people are saying that it could be like a super type unit with all three of the units in one. Some people have also suggested the idea that it could potentially be like a dual unit where it's considered almost like a trio unit where you have always got Luffy up, but then you switch between either having Kid or Law up. Those could happen, but in my eyes, it's an anniversary Sugo Fest. They want to be having as many legends as they possibly can. In my in my head, I don't see it possibly being a trio unit or a dual unit. And look, if I'm wrong, I'll take the L, but I honestly don't see it being the case. Personally, I think it's going to be a single Luffy, a single Kid, and a single Law. However, the other thing that I am also kind of worried about is what are they doing with Zora and Killer? Now, their artworks don't look as dynamic as the other three. However, they were also considered silhouettes here, so I'm not really too sure what's going on. Um, there could be a couple of different things going on here. Now, they could potentially make all of these supernova characters like free-to-play units, obviously aside from Capone, because we already know he's a brand new legend. But as for the other ones, we don't know how you get these units yet. Now, they could be summonable units, not really too sure though. One of them could be related to a treasure map, but I don't think that's the case either. It's going to be hard to say what these units are for, but honestly, it, they could all be free-to-play units. And then for the actual Sugo Fest, you know, you have the three new legends, and then like Zora and Killer could be just considered um, like the regular rare recruits of that batch. Now, looking at the artworks of Zora and Killer, their artworks don't look as good, so I think it's either going to be the unevolved version, that it could be a dual unit of Zora and Killer as well. I'm not really too sure. Again, like it, it's too hard to say what everything is right now, but that's what this video is about. We're here to discuss it. Now, I do think that each of these three are going to be single headlining legends. Some people say that that doesn't make a lot of sense, but at the same time, you got to remember Japan last year for their for their was it sixth anniversary, they released four legends: Super Type Luffy, Super Type Sabo, Super Type Blackbeard, Super Type Katakuri. I think we could definitely see the same thing here. Now, I. I could definitely see them making all three of these super type legends for a different color. They could make them all for the same color, honestly. Um, we'll have to wait and see how they go about it. But honestly, if they are going to make them super type characters, it would be cool if they were similar in a sense to how they did Gekko Moria, that Sugo Fest exclusive character. And if you guys don't really know what I'm talking about, I'll bring up Moria real quick because the way that they built him was actually pretty awesome. And I really hope that they continue down this trend uh, for other super type characters moving forward. So we know that he's an int character, he's an int super type character, but you can see that with his kit, he is a powerhouse and driven unit. His special is also relating to powerhouse and driven characters, powerhouse and driven. And then the super type criteria, you need six characters on your crew that are either powerhouse units or driven units. And then in order to do that, you, you get his uh, super type special. And then because he is an int character, all your int characters will become super int or super type characters, uh, depending on the type of the character. I like this way moving forward because, I mean, I know some people really like, you know, maybe a super class, you know, any any unit of a certain class will change their color to super type. I think that would be really cool, but I don't think that's the, the path that they're going to be going down. But if they make like Luffy, Kid, and Law super type characters, but then boosting different classes, like they could potentially make Luffy a, like a fighter powerhouse or a fighter free spirit captain, like Law could be like a cerebral slasher. And then you've got Kid who could be like a driven striker captain. And then you have the other supernovas that 
would work with each of these characters like you know they all boost their, their own class by whatever value and then they could still boost all other types by four times so you could still use all of these characters together in a team and potentially all do different things like Luffy could be an attack booster kid could be an orb booster law could be like a, a huge conditional booster or a color affinity or something like that uh, and we don't really know how it's going to work and of course with version 11 there is going to be the introduction of a couple of new mechanics such as the final tap timing effect and also super swap because of the addition of super swap it leads me to believe that there, there could be a, a dual unit involved in this anniversary in some capacity now we don't really know how that's going to work yet some people have suggested it could be like what I said a little earlier, where they have a Luffy, Law, and Kid as one unit, and it's considered a dual unit, and then you switch between either Law or Kid. See, that does make sense as well. Like, that actually could work in the in the fashion of their version 11.0 update, because typically when they bring out a big update, the anniversary that comes out with that update will be revealing a new character that utilizes some of the new mechanics that are introduced. And these characters, in my eyes, don't look like a dual unit. The artwork that they have for these characters right now don't look to me like they would fit together in a dual or triple unit sense. Um, I feel like they would be constructed a little bit differently. And another thing that I really want to bring up another fact as to why I don't think these characters are going to be like that is the artwork of Luffy particularly um, because I want to compare and contrast his outfit with what Law Kid and also even Zoro as well. So this screenshot is from the opening and uh, this is the Onigashima uh, um, like outfits for these characters. So Law, obviously he's got the yellow shirt and the blue scarf. And if we look over here, he's got the yellow shirt and the blue scarf. And then you've got Kid who's got the black undershirt and he again has the black undershirt. You can see it clearly on that side. But Luffy, Luffy a little bit differently. Uh, I'm going to bring up Zoro in a sec. But Luffy does not have this, uh, this black cape. And he also has the red shirt on. If you have a look, Luffy doesn't have any shirt on. And he doesn't have the black cape. Now, I'm not really... I don't want to go into manga spoilers. But, you know, when Luffy goes gear 4 a little bit later on, he does have the cape still on. So, either this is a mistake in the artwork. Or uh, he is not meant to be in the same artwork style as these other characters. Even Zoro, for example, this is from the opening as well. This is his Onigashima outfit. He's got that, the really like dark greenish um, suit. And he also has that in this, uh, in this artwork right here. And you can see as well, he actually has the Enma sword, which is really, really cool. So it's awesome to see that we're getting an Emna version of Zoro, but we don't really know if he's going to be a Sugo Fest exclusive. We'll have to wait and see. I would love the fact if they did Luffy is a legend, Laura is a legend, Kid is a legend, and then have Kid and uh, Killer and, and Zoro also being legends as well. If they do debut five legends for the anniversary, I know some people are going to hate that, but I would think that would be absolutely insane, and I would love it to bits. Or if they make these three their own character, and then you could have Zoro and Killer as a dual legend with the new super swap ability. That could also work as well, but we'll have to obviously wait and see to see what they're actually going to do um but definitely let me know down below in the comment section what do you guys think about this reveal of these characters being the official anniversary sugo fest and you know potentially down the line after the anniversary is concluded they may have like a post anniversary celebration because they did that last year as well last year they had the big super type reveal of luffy sabo katakuri and blackbeard and then, like, literally the next big Sugar Fest after it was Legend Hawkins and Legend Kid. So there might be, like, an after-party celebration once again this year. Uh, maybe they might have a new Kaido or a new Big Mom or, or even something else. We'll have to wait and see what they're going to do. But I I'm super pumped to see what they're going to be doing with these characters. And, of course, over the coming weeks, we'll get more and more information drip-fed to us about the anniversary, uh, potentially about what these units do. We're not going to get any information about these units probably until, like, I would say maybe about a week before the anniversary drops or until the data download actually comes in um but i remember last year they actually showed the official banner of these characters before the data download and in the banner that it actually gave information about what the legends did so potentially yeah i'd say probably like five to seven days before the banner goes live we might have some information about what these characters do but i'm super excited to see what they're going to do with these characters man because this is definitely a big anniversary. I'm hoping that they hit a home run with this one and bringing Law, Kid, and Luffy as an anniversary legend. I mean, that's definitely going to do it. So I'm really excited for this. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today. And if you guys did enjoy it, make sure you go ahead and hit the like button. And if you want to stay up to date with all the content that I post, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. But on that, guys, I'll see you guys within the next video.